Have you always wanted to add a bit of personalization into your SharePoint intranet? You'll see here that we've got the name of the logged in user pulling through and makes it really personal to the person who's logging in, um, including like guests and other people as well. So we created a web part. It always surprises us that Microsoft hasn't built this in, but nevertheless, here's how this works. So I'll just edit the page and um, then we can edit this. So you'll see that that web part was called uh, the welcome user web part. And um, you can actually customize this welcome message to, to whatever you want. But the key thing is really is these tokens. So you have the current first name or the current full name. So if you take the current user and pop that in, then it's going to show the full name. Um, but typically, I prefer to just use first name. That does obviously mean that the first name has to be populated in your Azure Active Directory or your Entra is what it's called now. Um, so just making sure that there is a first name and then it will pull that through. Then you have a fallback message. Um, so in case for some reason this doesn't work or the person doesn't have a name, it would just say welcome to SharePoint or you know you put a message in whatever you want. And there's a whole bunch of other settings. So we can use theme colors. Uh, so we could turn that off and then you can choose the color. Um, then you got the size of the font. We can scale up and down. You can make it bold, not bold, italics, etc. Um, you can also change the background color. So if I wanted to overlay this into a dark image, then I can actually then change the background color um, to make it pop. Uh, you can change the opacity of that as well. So scroll that up and down. Uh, we've even got box shadow. So you'd increase the box shadow on here. So let's say two pixels uh, and then four pixels. And then you see there's a little box shadow just going on around there. Um, so if you, if you like that, it's quite configurable there. And then that's obviously the depth. Then you've got the alignment, so we can go central uh, or right aligned, so whatever works for you there, and then we can increase the padding um, to, to make it a little bit more spacious.